This is section 4.1 on the chain rule. Derivative of a composite function. We know how to differentiate sine x and x squared minus 4, but how do we differentiate a composite like sine of x squared minus 4? The answer is with the chain rule, which is probably the most widely used differentiation rule in mathematics. This section describes a rule and how to use it. Example 1, relating derivatives. The function y equals 6x minus 10 equals 2 times 3x minus 5 is a composite of the functions y equals 2u and u equals 3x minus 5. How are the derivatives of these three functions related? Well, look, if we have y equals 2 times u and u is 3x minus 5, then if we plug that in for u, we would get the same thing as we have right here. Now, in order to find the derivative of y with respect to x, so in other words, right here, by the way, the derivative is 6 on this one, but that's a secret. Uh, you take the derivative of y with respect to u, and then multiply that times the derivative of u with respect to x. So we'll multiply that times the derivative of u with respect to x. Now, notice if these two were actually fractions, the top and the bottom would cancel each other out. So we'd end up with dy over dx. Well, let's take dy over du. So the derivative of y with respect to u in this case is 2, and the derivative of u with respect to x is 3. So the derivative is 6. Relating derivatives, example 2. The polynomial y equals 9x to the fourth plus 6x squared plus 1 can be factored into 3x squared plus 1 squared is the composite of y equals u squared and u equals 3x squared plus 1. Look, the 3x squared plus 1, that's the inside function, and the outside function would be u squared. Let's find dy dx by using what's called Leibniz notation. We'll take the derivative of y with respect to u, that's over here, that's this function, and then we'll multiply that times the derivative of u with respect to x. And once again, the du's would cancel if we were multiplying this as fractions. So dy du, that is the outside function. The derivative of that is 2 times u, and the derivative of the inside function is 6x. Well, that's equal to 2 times. We leave, we, we put the inside function in here. So uh, 3x squared plus 1, and then times 6x. And the only way to simplify this is take 2 times 6 and make it 12. So that's the derivative. Notice that we do the derivative of the outside function first, but notice how the inside stays in here when we take the derivative. Rule 8, the chain rule. If f is differentiable at the point u equals g of x and g is differentiable at x, then the composite function f of g of x equals, well that's the same thing, is differentiable at x. And f of g prime, or the derivative of the composite function is, well, take the derivative of the outside function first, leave the inside in there, and then take the derivative of the inside function. In Leibniz notation, if y equals f of u and u equals g of x, then dy dx equals dy du times du dx, where dy du is f evaluated at u equals g of x. Differentiating from the outside in. Differentiate sine of x squared plus x with respect to x. Well, we always take the derivative of the outside function first and then work our way to the inside. So I'm going to take the derivative of sine, which is cosine, and we're going to leave the inside function alone, x squared plus x. You can't take the derivative of the outside and the inside all in one shot. That's not allowed. So then we multiply that times the derivative of the inside function, which is 2x plus 1 always taking derivative outside in. How about a three link chain? The outside function on this one is tangent, so the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So we have secant squared and we leave the inside function alone. Then we take the derivative of the inside function, derivative of five is zero, derivative of negative sine is negative cosine, excuse, yeah, negative cosine of 2t, and then we work our way all the way to the inside to 2t, and the derivative of that is 2. Uh, that's about all you can do. Find the derivative of each. So we'll do f prime here, f prime of x equals, we're going to take the derivative of the outside function, which is to the third power, so 3 times 2 is 6, 
and then we're going to reduce the power by one, but we're going to leave that inside function alone. Now we're going to multiply by the inside function, which is negative 2x. We can clean this up a little bit and write this as negative 12x times 1 minus x squared squared. Let's take the derivative of g of x. g of x is the same as x squared minus 2x plus 1 to the 1 half power. Now we're going to take the derivative of the outside function, which is actually the square root. And so g prime now of x is equal to 1 half times x squared minus 2x plus 1. And we'll reduce this power by 1. We're using the power rule. So that's now to the negative 1 half power. And now we're going to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Remember, always working outside in. So we multiply by 2x minus 2. We can clean this up by sending this down to the denominator with the 2. And this will be on top. So we have 2x minus 2 over 2 times the square root of x squared minus 2x plus 1. On the next example, let's change this one to negative 4 times t plus 2 to the negative 2. Then we can use the power rule. So y prime in this case, the derivative, we're going to use the power rule to start out. So negative 2 times negative 4 is 8. Then we have t plus 2 to the negative third power. Uh, and then we've got to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is 1. So it really doesn't affect the answer. We have uh, 8 over t plus 2 to the third power. To take the derivative of this one, we have two functions, so we're going to have to use the product rule. We have first times derivative of the second, which is 1 half times 9 minus x squared to the negative 1 half, but then times negative 2x. So derivative of the outside is the fact that this is raised to the 1 half power, and the inside is uh, the derivative is negative 2x. And then plus the second, 9 minus x squared, times the derivative of the first, which is 2x. Well, let's clean this up. Over here we have x squared times negative 2x. That'll be on the top, but look, the 2's are going to cancel out. So we have negative x to the third over, now remember these 2's canceled out. So on the bottom we have the square root of 9 minus x squared. Then we have plus... 2x over, actually not over anything, let's erase that. It's actually just 2x times the square root of 9 minus x squared. Well, let's get common denominators, so we'll have to multiply the top and the bottom on this one by the square root of 9 minus x squared. This is equal to negative x to the third plus 2x times 9 minus x squared. These these radicals are going to cancel each other out, and now we have this all over the square root of 9 minus x squared. Well, this is equal to negative x to the third plus 18x minus 2x to the third. So the final answer is negative 3x to the third plus 18x all over the square root of 9 minus x squared. Find the derivative. Holy cow, look at all this. Well, we'll start with the outside. The outside is sine. So y prime, the derivative is cosine of cosine squared, 3x to the fourth. The next function is actually, so we'll multiply this, is the squared part, because this right here is cosine of 3x to the fourth squared. So the next function is actually this squared right here. So we have 2 times cosine of 3x to the fourth. The next inside function is cosine. So we multiply that by negative sine of 3x to the fourth. And then finally, our, our, our most inside function is 3x to the fourth, so times 12x to the third. Find the derivative at the indicated point. We have f of x equals 1 over x squared minus 3x to the fourth. And how about we make the point 4 comma 1 16th. Let's take the derivative of the function, but first let's make f of x equal to x squared minus 3x to the negative 2. Let's take the derivative, which we take the derivative of the outside. The outside function is to the negative 2. 
we have negative 2 times x squared minus 3x to the negative third, and then multiply that times the derivative of the inside, which is 2x minus 3. We have negative 2 times 2x minus 3 over x squared minus 3x to the third power, and we're evaluating this at x equals 4, which is negative 2 times, let's see, 8 minus 3 is 5, over, uh, let's see, we have 16 minus 12 to the third, which is negative 10 over 16 minus 12 is 4, 4 to the third is 64. We have negative 5 over 32.